Uh, uh, Trev, uh, how did you compare this game to uh, last week's uh, loss against Widnes? Um, obviously, um, we um, lost the game against Widnes and we won the, this game tonight, but I, I think we done the simple things a bit better than last week. Like Our, our defence is fairly strong. Like we, we did turn over a fair bit of ball because of the dewy conditions, but um, our, our talk and our, our defence was a lot better than um, last week. So, obviously, that that's where we, we turned it around. It was a very slow start and you had to turn it around, didn't you? Yeah, mate. Um, we, the last probably, um, oh, the last couple of weeks, obviously, we've played Halifax and um, oh, Winders and Thaddeus Heath. We've we've started all right. It's not a little bit slow, obviously, but the, we, probably because of the conditions and the, the team we played in Jews, uh, like, they're a fairly young team. They're very enthusiastic. So um, they sort of put on us a bit, but, you know, we um, held the ball and defended well and we t- turned it around. Obviously, you know, we've seen the scoreline, but... Yeah, that's a you know, that's where we go on top of them. Did you really surprise you? They haven't won yet this season, have they? Um, yes and no. Like um, they they're, they're, they're a fairly good good team, but they don't really have any standout players. But um, like you know, sort of star players. But um, they they apparently got a fairly good coach and they're very enthusiastic. So I I, I can't see why they yeah they, I reckon they're fairly close to a win. But obviously. We, with the, the better quality teams like us and Winders and Halifax and that, I think they'll struggle a bit, you know. And it's nice to get the win because you've been so close every game and not got a win and now start the winning winning run. Yeah, mate. Um, I, I I actually believe like winning's a habit, and once you get your first one, you you know how to win. Your second one, the third one, like in the Halifax game, we you know we were, we were leading by you know 12 to 14 points, and then you know the, the momentum changed, and then we, we got rolled, and they, and again against the Winders, they were up, and we were up, and then uh, you know a few injuries and a few you know drop balls and stuff, and yeah, we turned they, they turned it around against us, and tonight we um, obviously started started slow, and then but we worked our way back into the game, and and at 16-10 um, it was fairly um, uh, you know there was a you could go either way, but we you know we held the ball and defended really well which is the most pleasing thing for me and and the rest of the boys we defended really well and you know we, we scored a try at the end to pretty much seal, seal the game pretty much so and it was nice to see Mitch get his uh, 200 point oh yeah it was, wasn't too bad um he's um kicking now so you know he and, and he's scoring you know i think he's like a lean try scorer so he's um going all right a, but i think he he um i was cookie a, a, a few beers because i think every one of his tries is, is um come off him so after conceding 44 points against uh, Witness last week, what kind of things have you been working on in training the past week? We just worked on the fundamentals, it, it just squaring up a little bit better, stop the uh, the opposition popping the nose through the, the our defensive line, and and just talked a lot about his attitude towards defence. And you know, when we played Halifax a few weeks ago in the first game, our attitude towards defence was outstanding. And last week we were a little bit soft in certain times, but good in other times. So it's that little bit of consistency that we always talk about. You know, and the credit goes to the boys today. Is as much as we haven't played flash and great rugby league, we've ground out a win. We, you know, showed his attitude that we've got. We, at any level uh, in any competition, that you, you stop a team scoring for 40 minutes, it means that you know you, you you've got a good attitude towards your defensive work. And uh, we had that again tonight. You know, offensively, we still got a lot of work to do. But delighted with the response after the game last week. It, it was a close game at half time. Uh, what? What did you do to change mentality uh, and like change game in our favour? Now we just talked to you know just to keep doing the simple things a little bit better. We talked about completing. We talked about uh, getting to the ends of his sets, and we did that in the first 20 minutes of the second half. And uh, I think we completed eight out of the first nine in, in the second half, which took us a little bit further away from him. And then you know we went through back a bit sloppy, dropped a lot of balls again, and and dropped his guard again. And that's why they came back into the game. Delighted that we showed the character just to grind out a win and, and, and in certain times in, in your season you've just got to do what you've got to do to win a game and we did just enough tonight and they're always tricky games you know when teams come um, up from the division below we've been there seen it and done it and you know the first sort of month or two it's, it's all about adapting and getting used to playing at that different level and uh, they did that tonight and I, you know I was pretty impressed with the uh, Jews but I thought you know they, they, they acquitted themselves very well and caused us a few problems but you know in the second half defensively we talked about fronting up a little bit better you know they scored a try off a kick 
won't try from a bit of sloppy D. Uh, you know, individuals not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But apart from that, you know, we handled them pretty well. And it was just about if, if they don't score a try, you know, we win the game at 12-10. And we'd have been happy to win the game tonight, 12-10. How did you motivate the team from last week's home defend, defeat to this week's win? It was easy because they were a little bit disappointed with themselves and they knew that they could have won the game last week and as we could have done against uh, Halifax and uh, you know they're two of the big guns in the competition and when we played Halifax we were winning 20, 26 12 and when we played Witness last week uh, we were winning 24 uh, 26 18 so we put ourselves in positions to win the game what we didn't do is close the game down and and that's what we spoke about so the, the confidence wasn't a big thing you know they knew that how to win the game, they know how to compete and you know they're a competitive group of people and you know they're, they're a credit to, the, to themselves and to the club, they really want to do well and we talk about it, we, we do a little bit of work in training but it's down to the players having the right attitude and, and it was easy for us to motivate them tonight, we knew that Jews were co going to come here and throw everything at us, they did but the players stood firm and, and you know they're a, they're a good group and uh, you know we can move on now, we've got that monkey off us back if you like of not having the win now we can go into a weekend off next weekend and then build up to the key three game and hopefully get one or two players back for uh, for selection as well did you be surprised today because it was a very slow start wasn't it don't surprise me you know they were going to come committed they're going to have good attitude and you know they're a good team there's no doubt about that one has got them firing all cylinders and it's danger isn't it you know when you get a team that's unexpected and don't expect to to be a threat then you, you, you're losing your guard we didn't we had uh, you know plenty plenty of respect for uh, Jewsby today we know that, that you know we've been in this position a couple of years ago when we got promoted we lost the first seven games then you start doubting yourself but you just need the bounce of the ball and if the bounce of the ball goes and you're on to a bit of a run and you know it's easy to get on a losing run but it's it's, it's easy to get on a winning run and uh, you know they'll get better there's no doubt about that they've got a good attitude they seem like they're a good well-knit sort of team and uh, when you've got that then it, you know the first wins around the corner and the longer it goes the closer the win becomes for them so they just got to keep their heads down and uh, they didn't surprise me at all I know Warren Jowett I know what he's about he's passionate he's aggressive you know they're dogged and they've got a bit of mongrel in them and uh, I thought they showed that tonight and you know there's some big boys out there that did the little things and I think they've got one of the best kicking games in, in our competition when you talk about Don Brambini, who we had a few years ago, his kicking game, he can put it anywhere on a sixpence. Great kicking game. And, you know, young Pat Walker has got exactly the same, a great kicking game. And, you know, the game is, uh, what we talk about often to our players, the game is about the kicking game. Go forward, field position. And if you get the right field position by a good kicking game, then you can compete. And, you know, they're not too far away the first win and, and just really pleased that it wasn't tonight against us. They put you under great pressure at times and you held firm and turned it around. Yeah. His attitude's been good for most, uh, you know, for the most of the games, and you know when you look about what happened last week, uh, they're running 44 points. We're a little bit disappointed with that. You know, when we played against Halifax the week before, if you like, they had five sets back to back, and we didn't crack. And I thought we showed that resilience again tonight. That you know, when we were under the cosh, we stood firm, we held them up over the line, and things like that. And last week we were just letting them get over the line. We gave too many soft tries away last week against a quality team, as in witness, and that's why we lost. We didn't tonight, and I really really pleased that we weren't for 40 minutes again uh, without letting the, another try in. And have you been feeding men's in raw meat because two tackles in two good games? That's Menzi, you know, and that's what I saw when I watched him in the World Cup. I remember watching him in the World Cup for Papua New Guinea against uh, Australia when he was the player that scored the try. But not only that, what I saw is defensively that he flew out of the line a couple of times and, all right, he didn't quite get to the, Aus the Australians, but they were very close. That's an high-tempo sort of game. This is not as quick, and I know that if we got him here, that from him just missing in that sort of level, He'd just catch here and he has done and he's got a presence about him and people are looking up and, and worrying about him why wouldn't you he, I'm not saying he's got the best technique in the world but you know body on the line doing whatever he has to do is, is what he does and you know he's He's immense for us and, and you know, he's going to get better. He hasn't had a proper pre-season again. He's had problems with his visa. But the second half of the season, Menzieri, we'll be to the fore again. There's no doubt about that. 